Okay, good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, if you're in the States. Uh, today is going to be bar, but we're gonna do it a little bit different than usual. So, you know, we like to, um, I like to, I should say, I like to mix up the speeds and the styles, right? So today is gonna be a little bit slower than the first one of the week. Um, obviously that one was pretty high intensity. So to the, today we're gonna tone it down. We're gonna focus on specific muscle groups and um, you're gonna have a good workout. So let's get started with some stretching. Go ahead and open up your legs. Reach down to that ankle. Reach up to the sky. Really stretching out your hips. Good. Oh, and I have a chair. So if you didn't have a chair handy, please get it. Or you can use like a couch to balance um, the wall. Just something to grip onto. Slowly go up and over. I have light weights. I won't be using anything more than the two to five pounds, but mostly the twos. So just for your reference, one more time, other side. Good, slowly come up, reach to the sky and then bend over nice and slow. And slowly roll it up. Good job. And from here, go ahead and just gently bring up your knees. In bar, we know that our legs get a really good workout. This is definitely a thigh, um, calf, hamstring sensitive workout. So this really tones those muscles in your legs, also glutes, uh, hips, core. But I'm gonna add in some ar bar arms as well. So just be prepared for that. Good, okay, while walking in place, go ahead and roll your shoulders back. Arms, big arm circles while walking in place. Deep breath, need that oxygen. Okay, and forward. Deep breath. Stay walking in place. Okay, from here, push and twist. You know, I say push the wall. Really just rotate that torso and push. Good. Okay, from here, continue walking in place and let's stretch our neck, chin to chest, shoulder to shoulder. Walk in place. Don't forget about your neck, guys. Your neck is full of muscles that need to be strengthened. Because your neck is one part of your body that almost never stops working all day long. Good, now bring it from side to side. You can stay walking in place if you'd like, or you can just stand. Just gently pushing from side to side. The average head is between eight, um, eight to nine pounds. So it's like a bowling ball, and your neck has to keep it supported all day long. Good. Now from here, side to side bend. Side. Gently pull it to one shoulder. You should be doing stretches like this like almost every day, especially with how much forward movement. Go to your other side. The forward motions that we're in right now with all this Zoom and FaceTime and computer screen, working from home, looking down at a computer. If you can elevate your screens to make it more eye level, that's always best. But if you can't, then switch sides. 
and you should be stretching daily. Either way, you should be stretching daily. Okay, last one. You may notice one side's a little bit tighter than the other. That could be your dominant side, or it could be the way you're sleeping at night. Okay, good, good. Okay, so we'll get right into starting. We are going to do um, bar once again for those that have just joined. We're gonna do it a little bit differently than usual. Um, a little bit quicker setup, but not really the pace, if that makes sense. So the pace is going to be quicker um, in the sense that we're rotating the exercises quickly but the actual pace of the workout is gonna stay uh, slow and controlled. So you'll see as we go, you'll kind of feel, you'll kind of feel it. So without anything more, we are going to start with a chair squat step back. So you can grab your chair. You don't have to have a chair if you don't want to guys, but it does help with the, um, with the balance. So I have my chair handy right here. It is going to be a chair squat, just like this, and then a step back. Let me adjust this camera a little bit. Oh, it's too small. Table, it's slow like this. Okay, so when I'm down here on this chair squat, and then I tap it back, and then I bring it forward, and then I tap it back. So we're gonna stay in this chair squat position the whole time. We're only moving one side of our leg. So with bar, we only do one side at a time, okay? And then follow my lead from there. It's very simple move. Here we go. Go into your chair squat, right leg step back, step back, step back. Just holding that chair squat. I'm on my right leg. I think it's better if you follow the same side as me that we don't get confused. Last one. Okay, good. Come up onto your tippy toes, up and down. While we're resting, we're going up on our tippy toes. Last one. We're gonna go back into that chair squat, step back. Ready? And go. Hold that chair squat. And step back. Almost there. You're starting to feel it, I know. Last one. Come up, stand, and raise those caps. Come up on your tippy toes. Tippy toe raise. Deep breath. Round two is done. Let's go one more. Come into that squat, step back. We're actually gonna do four rounds of each of these. Normally we'll do two to three. This one we're gonna do four because the pace is so slow. That's what bar is about, is bringing those muscles to failure slowly. <laughs> and stop, come up, come to your tippy toes, up and down. Deep breath while we're doing this. Raise yourself up on those tippy toes. My level one people, I'll let you know if there's any modifications, but so far it's pretty, pretty easy, I think. Okay, one more round, last one. Here we go, come into that squat, step back. So what's nice about bar is it's very gentle on the body, but yet, even though it's so gentle, you can still feel it, right? <laughs> Last one. Woo! Stand up, come to those tippy toes. You usually end up feeling it on the supporting leg. So like, I'm not feeling it on my right leg, but I am feeling it on my left leg. Last one, tippy toe. Good, now we're gonna switch sides. Same. Same motion, just different side. Come into that chair squat and step back. Breathe in. 
Make sure that foot is nicely planted. Last one. Good, to tippy toe. Tippy toe. Here we go, round two, coming up. Let's go, chair squat. Deep breath, muscles are starting to feel it. Holding that position. Last one. 
Good, tippy toe. Deep breath. Deep breath. Last round. Coming up. And start. <clears throat> I think bar is always a good option for like, when you may not have a lot of energy to do something, but you know you really want like a muscle strength training. Okay, stop and up to your toes again. So like maybe you don't feel strong enough to be doing a full on, you know, weight training session, but you still want to tone those muscles. Bar is all about body weight. Woo! Okay, good job. We're gonna switch sides. So now we're gonna do the same thing, but on the right side. Here we go. Ready? I just do my hands like that just to, makes me remember what I'm actually doing. But for my gentlemen out there that may not wanna do this, it's totally fine. Just, you know, you could just do it like this or just not have anything to do with your hands. And back to your tippy toes. Breathe in. Five, four, three, two, and one. Heart rate is coming up though, still. Ready and go. So it's, it's, it's almost like a sumo squat, but the focus is on one leg. And tippy toes. We got one more round. Two more rounds. Okay, round three. Ready? Wide squat. Past your shoulders. Wide squat. Still trying to push up from our heels though. Make sure you're powering up from the back of your leg. Last one. And tippy toe. Deep breath while we're doing those tippy toes. It's feeling hot in here, guys. So I know you're getting something. Okay, last round. Here we go. Push up from those heels. That way you don't hurt your you don't want to hurt your knees. Breathe in and stop tippy toes for your rest. Five, four, three, two, and one. If you want to grab some water, go ahead and have a sip. That was our first round. Um, we're going to a, two different moves coming up on the next round. So let me show you what it is. With our chair, we are going to do a donkey kiss. So if you're gonna lean into your chair and lift your leg somewhat as high as you can. So you're leaning into your chair and you're lifting. Then from your lift, you're gonna pull it in. So it's a lift and then a pull. A lift and then a pull, okay? But, but, but slow it down so that it's not one, one motion. We want it to be two motions. So it's a kick, then a bring to the center, then a bring it in. 
Okay, so two motion is not just a kick and a swing, kick and a swing. Slow it down as you're bringing it in, and then bring it up a little bit higher with that knee. Okay? So here we go. Get into that position of your chair. Kick it up, bring it in, then bring it in a little bit further. Kick it up, bring it in a little bit further. Up as high as you can, bring it in, and then a little bit further. So two motions. Okay, good, stand, back to those calf raises. You're gonna have nice calves tomorrow. You're gonna feel your calves tomorrow. Okay, last one, round two. Back to that donkey kick. Up, in, nice and slow. Up, slow, in. Up, high as you can, slow, in. Up, slow, in. Up. And stop, tippy toes. So with this donkey kick, the idea is to try and raise it up as high as you can. And then when you're bringing it in like a crunch, doing that nice and slow as well, so that you're focusing on your form. Okay, round three, here we go. Get that leg up, up, in, up, in. So when you're pushing it up, you should feel it on that side hip area. If you're pushing it up high enough, you should feel it in that side glute. Last one. Tippy toes. Deep breath. Good. Last round. Here we go. Bring it up. In. Up. In. Slowing it down goes against gravity. And if you can see or feel your back when you're doing the donkey kick, it's arching. When you're bringing it into the crunch, it's rounding. Okay, stop. And tippy toe. Deep breath. Okay, switching sides now. Same thing, just switch your legs, okay? Here we go. Bring that donkey up and in. Up and in, nice and slow. Breathe. So I have to kind of bend a little bit to get that knee up. And stop, tippy toe. I'm breaking a sweat, guys. And we're not even moving that fast, so hopefully you guys are feeling it. Good, okay, again, round two. That knee, lift, bend the leg, lift. So you try and lift it a little bit higher than, you know, comfortable, and then bring it in. You should feel this in your glutes, in your side, in your core. And stop, tippy toes. Three, two, and one. I know those calves are feeling it. Here we go. Back into it. Lift, lift. Three. And stop, tippy 
toes. Start to get your glow on all over. Three, two, and one. Last round. Same side. Here we go. Your legs really get a workout with bar. And stop. Tippy toes. Straight into it. Okay, next one is going to be a curtsy. So that's going to be a side squat with a leg lift. So it's a side squat with a leg lift. Side squat or like a reverse lunge curtsy at an angle to a leg lift. Okay, just 20 seconds. Here we go. Straight into it. Down. Up. If you need to hold on to your chair, go ahead. Try and keep your back straight. And stop. Good. Just walk in place. I know those caps are feeling it, so just walk in place. Before we go to round two. There's round two. Ready and go. Straight into it. It's a diagonal reverse lunge, also known as a curtsy to a leg lift. Last one. Walk in place. Lactic acid building up. Walk in place. Round three. Here we go. Breathe in. I know those legs are feeling it. Last one. Walk in place. Walk in place. Don't be fooled by bar. By the time you're done, you're filling your legs. Okay, last round. Here we go. Straight into it. Okay. 
Okay, here we go. Round three. I think it's three. <laughs> it's three, otherwise you guys are getting one free. Get that side curtsy. Kick it up. Good, walk in place. Breathe in. So it's about 20 seconds on, eight to 10 seconds rest. And here we go. Last one. Thumbs are facing up. 
you're going to lift, bending at your elbow, elbow to hip, elbow to hip. Obviously the biceps are way stronger, so this may be like a piece of cake to you, super breezy, but it's okay. Up at your shoulder and press. Switch right into a press. These can be high reps because the weight is low. You can speed them up. These are your stronger muscles of your arms. Three, two, and one. Drop them down again. We're gonna reverse it. Back down pyramid, same thing. Lift. Breathe in. Almost there. Nice straight back and press. Hands are getting sweaty, don't drop those weights. Keep it going. Last five. Woo! And drop it down. Good job. Okay, palms are facing down. Same motions as before. You may need to wipe those hands. Don't drop those weights. Okay, and it's on the clock. Palms are facing down. And hold them out. If you can't hold it through this whole time, your muscles are fatiguing, that's fine. You can, you know, go easier on yourself. Give it a break for a second, you know. Okay, straight in. I know you're feeling it on this round. Deep breath. Okay, drop it down and up. Good job. Last one. Woo! Oh man, shake those arms a little bit. We're gonna flip them over, flip those hands over. We'll have palms up on next round. Okay, palms up. Deep breath. Okay, bring them in. Do what you can do. Do what you can do. If you need to drop it down and then bring it back up again, that's fine. Breathe in. Not just out. Okay, drop it down and lift. Palms are up. Muscles are fatiguing. Palms are up. Five more seconds. Woo, and stop. Good job, guys. Shake it off. Good news is that we gave your legs a break, right? <laughs> Good news is we gave your legs a break, but we didn't want to leave your arms out. Never want to leave your arms out. Okay, so next one, we're going to do some on our toes. That's what makes it a little bit more challenging. 
So, um, they're gonna be down on the mat this time. So, you want to follow me down to the mat. Just thinking out loud for my level one people. Okay, get the mat on there. Okay, so for most of the level one, you should be able to do this, but it may be a little bit easier if you hold onto your chair. So I'll have the chair on my mat just for stability. So, because if you push into the chair while it's on the slippery ground, it's just gonna slide. So, for this next one, you can lean into your chair. You're gonna go onto your tippy toes. See my feet, they're not flat. They're on my tippy toes right here. And we're just stepping one and then the other, okay? This is level one. Level two, you're gonna be flat on the ground, just like this, okay? But we're gonna be on our toes. This is not meant to be fast. We're not doing mountain climbers. We're just focusing on isolating those muscles and bringing it to failure. So level one, stay on a, on a raised surface, like a couch or a chair or um, you can even, you know, just stay standing up if you can't possibly go over. The focus is tippy toes, slow step back, okay? So, here we go. So you're either on your chair or you're on all fours, just like this, on your tippy toes, step, step. So we're in an all four position, on all fours. But the focus is we're on our tippy toes and we're in that squatted position. Okay, raise it down. Quick break. Before we do it again, deep breath. Feel it, you're gonna feel it in your thighs. This is a thigh burner. We all need those toned, tight thighs, right? Here we go, on all fours, get into an all four position, step and step. Step and step. Crunch with 
with them with your leg lifted. So let me show you. We're gonna have one leg lifted and we're crunching over. One leg lifted. Okay, so one leg is gonna stay lifted the whole time. We, we're only going to turn to one side. So this is not a bicycle where we switch both sides. We're gonna start with our left. We're only crunching to our left. Okay, here we go. Level one. If you can't lift, if you can't keep your leg lifted, that's okay. Just do the crunch, okay? If you can't keep the leg lifted up in the air. Just do what you can do. Okay, so leg lifted. Trying to aim for that knee. Five more seconds. And stop. Just lay there for the remaining few before we start up. Okay, round two, and go. Deep breath. 
have a couple more. A couple more minutes. Okay, so from here, we're just going to do a couple um, mat section workout, and then we're going to get right into our stretching. Okay, so we're going to go on to all fours. If you cannot support yourself on your wrist, you can stand up and hold on to the back of the chair. Okay? We are going to do leg lifts, just straight leg lifts, just like this. Tap the floor and lift it up. Okay, here we go. Tap the floor, lift it up. Those are short muscle groups. 
Okay, come flip over to your side. So when we use heavier weights, you'll, the muscle will be a little bit shorter, but it'll grow bigger. But when we do Pilates and bar, the muscles stretch and elongate. So we need a little bit of both. Lay flat, roll one hip over to the other side, knee to the ground, opposite arm, and twist. So, I hear from a lot of women, you know, with, with weights, they say, oh, but I don't want to be bulky. So, you know, they're always afraid that they're going to get that bulk look, but you're not, you're not going to get like that. You're not a, even like the women bodybuilders, they have to like really work and take extra supplements, if you know what I mean, in order to get the look of um, that bulky bodybuilder look. It's not just natural. It doesn't usually just happen naturally. Okay, switch sides. They're on heavy supplementation. Switch knees and arms, stretch that spine. This should feel really good. After all those leg workouts that we just did, stretching out those hip flexors and that um, hip muscles, I just breathe. Gently pull the knee down to the ground. Gently try and pull that knee over to the ground. If you feel a light pop in your spine, that's okay. Just as long as it's slow and controlled. Good, slowly roll back to your back and bring one knee to your chest. Switch legs. recording <laughs> yeah while recording how did she get that big knot on her head oh i don't know <laughs> i don't know i really don't know sorry <laughs> let me grab a quick, quick picture before anybody has to go come 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 show your camera yay smiling faces cheese nice to see everybody Good job, yay. Yeah, how'd everybody do? Okay, just like a quick feedback. I know, I know uh, bar is not, sh I know bar is not everybody's favorite. Can we mute, mute, mute? Mute, mute. You know, you, you know the, the 2020 saying you're on mute? No, you're never Not children. On. There's no mute. 
over here. <laughs> There's no mute. So was it easy? Was it, what was the difficult level, difficulty level? You know, like on a scale of, that way everybody can say on a scale of one to five as difficulty, can you just hold up like, how would you say difficult it was for you? Just so I can see. What did you say, doll? A three? Yeah. Marga said three, five, oh, five. I got five, four, five, seven. Seven. That's hard. Okay. Okay. I like to see that. That was not okay. That's not what I was expecting. Okay, good. Good. So um, so you felt like you still got a push is what you're what you're saying. And that's what that's what I want. Like I don't want it to be too easy. I don't want it to be like, oh, why bother? Like I didn't even feel like I got a workout. You know, I don't want that. And um so that's why I periodically ask for feedback from you guys. And you know, I, I, will, I will speed it up again, don't worry, but sometimes we just gotta slow it down and fine tune some of those muscles. And that's how we get muscle definition is because you, have, you can't just work one or two muscles all the time. You know, you can't just only go to the gym and do the, do the squat bar. This is, this is not the only muscle in the body. So anyways, I know everybody has to go. So nice to see you guys live, especially those in the States that weren't able to make it. Nice to see you guys. And on replay, please send me your sweaty selfie so I can attach it to the emails so we can see you guys too. So have a good day and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye. Bye, Angela. Bye, sick.